you know, Stranger Things season two hit, and um, apparently, I think I, I think I read somewhere where it said apparently about three hundred thousand Netflix subscribers uh, binge watched Netflix within like uh, Stranger Things season two within the weekend, so they binge watched it in two days, and it's like yeah, it's wow. it's doable. Um, I didn't do it in two days. I did it in a few days, but yeah, I think I think I did it in three. Yeah, three Which is I like that is... good number because like. Two days yeah, is like, like three that. Two days is essentially being like that's all you're doing today. I think three is kind of like you can, <laughs> you can have a few hours off doing something else, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's like what three three episodes a day. It's it's very doable. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's nine episodes. So I like mm. I actually kind of appreciate that now since there's so much stuff. I kind of appreciate something that's like tighter and controlled a little bit more and like smaller, you know. If that makes mm, sense, because yeah, because yeah, a lot of people are just like not enough time, especially when you watch like, if you're like me and uh, Chowders and everything, you you watch just so much. T- you got all the CW shows which are like at least twenty four episodes each, and yeah, it's just yeah, like exactly. it it's, it does stack up, and then you're just like, well, damn, no, no time for anything. But um, you know, but, but I think but I think the other thing is it's 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 a uh, quality over quantity thing, right? Like I think I can definitely appreciate, um. You know, yeah, you know, although Stranger Things is kind of going into, uh, what a season three and season four. I think, but... that, yeah, I think they basically just like they're just like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep on doing this for like five seasons or something, six seasons without even knowing anything else. Yeah, but I mean, I can't, I, I I appreciate the notion that you know it's it's a it can be considered like kind of like a self contained story. Like season one and season two can be together considered like one self contained story and you know that's pretty cool like as opposed to you know watching you know a show that maybe is like 20 episodes and has like a lot of filler like I'm, I'm, like i'm not one to maybe argue against filler um just because like sometimes filler can be good in the sense that it might like lead to maybe character development or you know you learn more about like the world and stuff but i mean usually when people say filler it's like okay it's just something that's really unrelated to the plot and it's really like lazy or something like that just something so just ba- basically a- anime season. is very good at that um yeah yeah you know exactly. the main reason why they do it is because yeah they have the, the manga they catch up to the manga and they're just like well shit we don't know the next plot point so uh we'll just do some arcs you know so that, yeah, that's, exactly. why, that's why dragon ball z was always you know filled out to the max or like naruto like that that like i think the original run in naruto i think probably the last like 60 episodes which is basically just nothing that was just all yeah. uh, just bs apparently i mean like when i remember a new episode of like dragon ball z would come out like maybe like you know when i was a kid you know you'd be excited for it but like in reality it's just like maybe like an episode of like cell and goku powering up and that's it <laughs> and that's the whole episode like that's how bad like the fillers were back then but you know it's not too it's not too bad now they sometimes have plots who knows yeah um well that's the thing that's the, that's... but but the thing is it, it's not the case with stranger things and yeah. um yeah they kind of kind of get get to the point really quickly after um well i guess conveniently a year after exactly um, yeah you know you last saw it. yeah well that's the thing like i felt like it doesn't it didn't have like um I, I, like I wouldn't say it has pacing problems. Uh, Stranger Things season two. I think off the bat, everyone kind of knows that season two is not as good as season one. Um, it could just because expectations are so high for the second season, or like since season one was such a, I, I would you know so, diff, very unique and very different. I, I guess um, so. A lot of people were just like, "Holy shit!" You know, so like season two is like maybe it feels not as good. And I, I, once again, I don't feel like it is as good. Um, overall, I like the season. Um, there's just a, a few things where I'm just like, ooh, that's just kind of, um, you know, stupid. But that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I would agree. I think, I think it obviously had a very like high bar that it had to um, reach, right, with the first season. And I think that's because there wasn't really anything like that in the like, I guess, a TV scape, like an actual like really good uh, horror TV show. But then also is a bit of like a like a timepiece, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's milking our, uh, 80s nostalgia. Um, well, that's the thing, it he... always, it, once again, it reminds me, like, the, the, the previous effort for this was, like, J.J. Abrams, uh, Super 8, which I really loved, um, and that's kind of, like, the same thing, where it's a bunch of kids in a random town, 
experienced something unna like un uh, supernatural, and, and and the adults don't believe them, so they need to take you know matters in their own hands. So they use um, basically kid type things and just you know solve the day. And, I, and once again, it's one of those things where you don't see like movies like that anymore, like a big family adventure type of thing, um, like Goonies and all that stuff. So that's what it's basically capturing. Um, yeah, and, and obviously it doesn't help that it's set in the eighties. Like yeah. you know, it's, but, it's but, clearly but I think of that the other time. thing is it. But I think at the same time, it also kind of subverts a lot of the tropes of those kind of movies. Like while like you know, it's it's all very like not necessarily happy go lucky, but you know at least in the context of the show, like there's all this bad stuff happening, and maybe our characters like you know are, are just not there for like you know something bad happening, or there's some kind of plot reason why they avoid it. But well, that's the thing. Know, I, I, thought... I think overall. No, no, you... no, no, no. Go on. No, go on, go I, was, on. I was just gonna say that um. You know, it, it felt like this uh, season was paying homage to a lot of 80s stuff. Like, whether it be, um, I guess, scenes or tone or just even the way everything's shot. Like, obviously, the Ghostbusters stuff is a really good parallel. But um, yep, that yep. one episode where, um, I forgot, I forgot the, the, okay, I forgot their names, but the the guy who looks like he's on drugs all the time, which he is in real life, apparently. And the, uh, the uh, girl. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, which one is that? Okay, you know um, Will's brother? Oh, Will's brother. Apparently okay. he, oh, okay, he apparently sure. got arrested in LAX because he had cocaine in his bag. He's not allowed back in America or whatever. In in the America. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, so, I, do, I do remember So yeah, he, do, he does look okay, drugged yeah. up all the time. And then once you, you learn that news, you're like, yeah, he kind of Yeah, does. it all makes sense. Yeah, but um, the scene with hey, him... the 80s, man. Yeah, the 80s, <laughs> man. Cocaine's one hell of a drug. Um. But yeah, like uh, him and um, the the girl I forgot her name. But when when they when they hook up in that scene where they're like you know they're like oh bickering to each other and then they walk mm -hmm, up and they're yeah. just like yeah whatever and they come back and they kiss. That scene mm -hmm. is directly taken uh, from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Like it happens like one to one. Like I can play scene one uh, okay. next to another and it'd be exactly the same. There's a lot of different shots like that as well where it's like uh, you know there's one shot like that that looked like The Shining. Um, whereas the overhead of the car moving around the forest, like there's a few things like that, and um, yeah, like this thing is very heavily influenced it, and I, and I think a lot of people do like the '80s, so I guess they put they're just like, what do people like about the '80s, and we can put in Stranger Things, um, you know, something like the arcade, right. yeah, the, the like I could tell they had a bigger budget this season because of uh, all the '80s music they actually got in the show. Like there's like a lot yeah, of yeah, there's a lot of eighties music. Like, oh yeah, that one and that one and that one because you know Stranger Things is the new hot thing, so they probably had uh, all the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that that's true, and yeah, and you can and it definitely like shows. There's a lot more, I guess, world building um, in terms of like what's going on in. Uh, I actually forget what the the town is called, but um, yeah, I, for, I forgot the I forgot it. But the, you know that's the thing. Do you do you know the original conceit of the show, like what they were planning to do with it? Um, no. Because, so, so yeah, because yeah, cause what they were wanted to do is that, um, each season was going to be a different set of kids in a different set of town, like a different town. Um, oh, that was, no way that was ever going to happen. And then, yeah, no I way. think everyone got really attached to the kids and everything, and they're just like, yeah. no, nah, yeah, we're, we're going to scrap that idea. Um, but yeah, like, you know, overall, I really like this, really like the season. Um, once again, everyone's really making about the memes, about the, uh, what, what, I forgot the guy with the cool hair and he's the babysitter and everything oh. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 um, I forget his name. You see, this is what happens when it's uh, when we're late one week, we forget everyone's name. Yeah. Um, it's but like, I know it's like you know, it's like that guy. But yeah, the good guy with no, the good he, hair. Well, well, okay. So the thing is, um, at least with the show itself, um, there's 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 a bit of. Um, an overarching uh, storyline that's happening um, with all the characters. And th there's about four that I can kind of pick, right? Um, so there's like, you know, the A, B, C, and D storyline. Um, the A storyline is um, about the kids, right? Um, and when I, when I mean the kids, um, I'm, I mean more like Mike and Will um, and Dustin? Yeah, no, I think Dustin. it was... Yeah. Um, it, yeah, yeah. Dustin, Dustin and, yeah, Eleven, my uh, Lucas, 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 Lucas. Yeah. Well, 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 well. You see, Eleven, Eleven has her own story. Eleven's story is the B storyline. Yeah. Right? Like her story is 
uh, she's trying to, um, you know, well, figure out, like, you know, who her mom is. Um, well, not only that, but she know. has the powers, and I think she's trying to, like, figure out what she's doing with them and how she can do it. Like, I think I think there's a lot of criticism out there right now for episode 7, which is the 11 um, episode where she meets up with the uh, other person with powers. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And everything, yeah. and people um, really don't like that episode. I thought it was okay. Like, um, I thought... Yeah. I, I like. I, I, I didn't mind it. I but, didn't mind it. I think like at the time, I didn't like notice that there was, and I think it might be because like I watched it over three days, so it didn't really feel like it stuck out too much of a yeah. Because if you think about it, so so after the first six episodes, the episode six kind of ends on a cliffhanger, right? Um, it kind of ends with uh, they're at the facility, and I think the the demodogs as the the cold. Um, they're like kind of approaching like you know everybody in the facility and it ends on that and then episode seven kind of shifts tone um and it doesn't continue on from there like at the end of the at the end of episode seven like 11 can kind of feel that like oh the people back in you know wherever like need my help um i better go back right but i think that might be the reason why people um didn't like because maybe if you're if you actually are binge watching it um, you kind of want to know what's happening with, uh, you know, the guy, everyone back in, you know, town. Whereas, you know, Eleven's kind of... Uh, I, I don't know what to really describe Episode 7. It's, it's more like a... Well, that's the thing. Like, that's thing. I, I, I liked, I liked the, once again, the aesthetic of it, obviously. Like, it's down my alley. But, like, um, it felt to me like an X-Men thing. Like... And like if all the if all the characters that were punks there also had powers of some sorts and like had something that would be I think it would be a lot more better because it would just show like that there's more people out there and it would be like this little group being like yeah you know we're gonna use our powers in this particular way while Eleven still has the innocence of like I still don't want to kind of kill people so I like the kind of du- duality of that being like you know use it for good use it for bad but you know like I, I you know it, it would be really cool if all those kids also had powers and they were kind of like once again it'd be like this mini x-men thing and i think that would be really cool um but yeah obviously they're setting up though that 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 character there like number eight or whatever and like the others as well for for some particular reason i think you know maybe at some point in season three something happens and whatever like it's more it's more out of the town and i think it's maybe might grow to a city type of thing well, well well let's start with like i guess the the premise of like kind of the main story that's happening right so so the so the the big the big story is um you know uh like mike mike and the gang they've kind of found this frog um and they're trying to figure out like what it is and you know w- what's happening also the new kid uh max or mad max as she's called at the arcades one of the um, worst characters ever um yeah okay okay yeah, actually, no, no, that's actually a good point no no, no so let, I, okay I wanna, let, let, yeah let's about... yeah, let's touch this right now there's two yeah. new characters including her brother did really? did nothing in the show like they were introduced yeah. for no reason at all they did nothing aside yeah. from just being like oh you know we need to add some extra things that are happening on the side and like maybe you know the brother's an asshole or something but in the in the overall arcing of the story they did nothing uh it didn't really i guess bring anything to the plot i guess if that makes real sense yeah, no, I I actually agree. Like the so so the new characters Max and Billy. Um, they well, Billy Billy's character was basically supposed to be a um, I guess an antagonist for Steve, um, who is our uh, resident um bad boy, or at least was our resident bad boy. So until the real to... one came out. Well, but that's what I'm saying. It's it's a bit of a it's kind of like a power creep in terms of um you know bad guys they're like you know steve used to be the jock dude that you know you're supposed to kind of not like in season one um and you're supposed to sympathize with uh uh, jonathan jonathan jonathan's character um but you know because jonathan was you know a bit of a social outcast you know he has a camera he's a nerd yeah he's a nerd like yeah like weird stuff you know like the the stereotype of the weird creepy guy you know what do you mean yeah yeah like but he's also supposed to be the lens in which the um i guess the viewers are supposed to kind of sympathize with whereas steve was supposed to be like oh yeah hey look i'm a arrogant jock guy who like peer pressures people and blah 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 but like he turns out at the end of season one to be like you know he kind of uh not, not saves the day per se, but like he does um, contribute and help out. I think like Nancy and John from the uh, 
the demogorgon and stuff so like you know he kind of you know uh came through at the end so he kind of ended up being like you know an anti-hero and and i say anti-hero because you know there's probably not really that great, much great analogies to give for the show but he's kind of like the anti-hero he's kind of gone he's done a bit of a heel toe and he's kind of like been he's a good guy now so they've had to give him a bit of a a rival who's uh billy um so he's one of the new kids um he's just i don't know like he's he, he's supposed to be like kind of the bully guy but then he's also like you know they kind of reveal like oh yeah um, yeah so he had, a, he had, he had a troubled move. family past as well like yeah yeah so billy and max um had to move to town uh, Max, Max being um, a girl, by the way, um, and she, she, she's kind of like the new kid. She's a bit of like you know a rebel, you know, does like you know a lot of like different things for maybe what would be expected of like girls of her era. Like she skateboards. She's like a bit of an like a, a social outcast and stuff. And um, I believe uh, Lucas and Dustin like kind of fall for her immediately and try and like you know grab her attention. But um, outside of outside of that, like. You know, they're, they're kind of, that's what their roles are. But, like, you know, I was, I was originally quite interested to, you know, find out, like, oh, hey, they moved to town because of some kind of, you know, maybe some kind of, maybe it was something plot related, like, as in, you know, maybe they have superpowers as well. Or, well, yeah, that's know, the maybe. thing. They didn't really touch on it, did they? Because, like, all, all we know is no, really. They did. It, no, but that's the they thing. Did. They, 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 like, did they? Because I just remember, yeah, like, did. I remember the brother being an asshole, like, yeah, you lied because of this and this. And, like, um,. I, I guess the dad was really abusive, but I don't know exactly. Was, was there a hundred percent reason why they left? No, no. So, so uh, I, uh, I think I just missed again, that. No, no. So, so again, unless unless I'm completely wrong, um, but what what I got out of um watching the show was the reason why they moved was because um Billy's so so uh Billy and Max um their step siblings right mm -hmm. yeah I so that. um yeah. Billy Billy's dad um. Uh, kind of divorced or left his old wife um, and met Max's mum, and they decided to move move away and start a new life together somewhere else, right? And that's the whole reason why. Like Billy's upset that he had to leave his old life, um, and therefore he kind of takes it out on Max because, well, you know, and 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 because like on top of what I said before, like. His dad is abusive, um, and he kind of cops it for like his rebellious behavior. But obviously, like you know, in in that situation, like you know, lashing out in a certain way, not justifying it, but like you know, it it it's his character. He's he that's how he acts, and this is kind of the result. So the 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 main kind of thing was the fact that his 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 family or their family moved to um, you know the town in which Stranger Things is based in. Um, and so he had to kind of like change his whole life around, um, and he's kind of angsty about that. Um, nothing else. That's literally it. That's well, all. That's, that's the thing. I, I really... thought it was going to be a lot bigger of a type of reveal, but I guess oh well. Well, well, I mean, I guess that's the thing, right? Like, you know, one one could argue like, oh well, look, it's like looking into like kind of. Um, well, I mean, if you look at like you know shows from the '80s, um, they often have like more like you know maybe an ideal family and you know uh you know there's not a lot of like kind of nuance in terms of like you know the nuclear family and anything beyond that whereas i guess his family is kind of representing uh divorced family yeah like it's, kind of it's the new generation family. of families like, yeah like like i'm i'm i'm, I'm trying to i'm not, i'm not just i'm not just because i think it's actually really lame i actually really don't like um billy's billy's character um outside of that um just because it just really doesn't make sense in that regards like what else um you know they did is yeah well um, that's the thing next like, season, like, next, season role, but... next next season they you know i don't know what's going to happen but yeah we'll see what he's what his character is going to be doing or whatever like that's the thing. next season like it was set up pretty like i felt like the the the, the you know what happened in the, in the season two just kind of like the, the it wasn't really a victory like it's like it's still the, the it's kind of technically the same threat and nothing really was changed i guess and it's like I but but i, I do know. i do i do hope will doesn't get to suffer anymore like he, he you know he gets the short end of the stick like he keeps him suffering i'm like i want him to be like you know be a normal kid and figure out something well i i, I mean like you know it, it kind of hit me that like oh like this is actually the first season that we're actually seeing will's character actually act 
like for more than like one episode or one or two episodes right. um uh because because he was just missing in, in in season one whereas in season two i actually really liked will um this season like you know from from him being like you know um you know like a, they call him um a spy um spying on on them and i did like you know like i liked how they went there's the one scene where they are essentially trying to uh glean you know uh some of the plans from the what they call the mind flare uh D D reference for uh any any of our listeners once but, again i, I um, don't play because I, I i don't know i don't know you know <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I mean, um, like I, I play Dungeons and Dragons, and so I, I get, I got like a little bit of the references here and there, but, uh, so uh, essentially, like they kind of like what, like cardboarded the room, and you know, they kind of put him on this like chair to try and like you know make him and interrogate him. It was just really funny. Um, but they went through all this effort to just like hide his location because he would otherwise like kind of convey that to, uh, the mind player. Um. But yeah, I think. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, but... Like in, in general, like how do you, how do you feel about Will's character in general? Like, in how how is it going? Because like, like even even with some of the other kids, I felt like there's a lot of like jealousy. I guess that was part of the plot points, especially like Eleven with the the new uh, Max, or even um yeah, a lot of it was relating to Max being like, oh, you know, like it's not just Eleven, but it was also like uh, you know not being technically part of the group, and I guess that was resolved. Um, being told everything at and, the end, yeah, yeah, but like, um, yeah, I, I, I did, I did like how Eleven just like kind of did not acknowledge her at all when, that, when that, they actually they, met. That was never resolved, by the way. That was never just like, oh, you know, I don't worry, she likes you. It's like, no, she like Max still thinks it's like, you know, she's a dick. Well, I mean, well, I mean, in reality, I'm sure they'll they just presume like, oh, well, Max doesn't know her, therefore she's not, she's like not close to her. Like, I think that that's like more than like. Like at least in in universe explanation to her behavior, but um, you know it's it, it yeah like I mean jealousy is like a theme, but I mean it's it's not a very interesting one. Well, I mean not for me, I didn't find it very interesting. Um, I really liked um so yeah to to answer your question, yeah I really like um Will's character. Um, I'd like I like to see where he'll go from from where you know his character has left off. Um. No more disappearing acts, hopefully. Um, and yeah, like I, I look forward to seeing him kind of grow. Um, well, I really like. Apparently, when... the, yeah, apparently next season's gonna do another uh, another yearly skip. So. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that was like a bit of a a cop out. Like they, because uh, I think at the end at the end of the season, um, they had their dance uh, and it was kind of cute. And you're like, oh, it's so easy. No, 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 not 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 the dance, but rather Chief Hopper was talking to the um the guy who. Uh, ran the facility and he gave him like for, uh, like fake documents so that um eleven could be his daughter um mm. and he and Hopper asked oh like how long should we wait and it's like oh yeah about a year so like okay. it's like yeah okay he's already setting up oh, well that's the thing that's I felt I felt like yeah obviously this season had a lot of I guess it's doers once again with Steve and the um Dustin um eleven and Hopper like obviously they're they're paralleling like obviously he's probably going to be the dad. Um, Sean Aston died to RRP, so then, like, I think what's gonna happen is gonna be some weird family thing, where I think Hopper, because I think there was some weird tension between Hopper and, uh, Renato Ryder's character, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. So, like, I'm, I'm assuming yeah. that at some point they probably get together, and then, you know, like, you know, obviously, um, Eleven likes, um, the other kid, and then right. there'll be some sort of weird, like, oh, we're all family and we're all together. I'm assuming something like that will happen. Like, as soon as I saw that tension bit between um, Hopper and her, I'm just like, yeah, you know, something bad's going to happen to uh, Sean Astin. <laughs> and it did. Oh, well. Only per- well, well the only person okay, who so- died. The only person who died. Well, yeah, you see, that... Okay, so so to start off, I was actually pretty disappointed to kind of learn that Evan wasn't stuck in the Upside Down for too long. Like, it was, it, it didn't actually, like, break the season for me or anything, but um, I kind of like the notion that, oh, uh, um she was actually stuck in there for, like, a pretty long time and had to therefore escape. But I think for the context of the show, like, they're like, well, we've got to get them together somehow. Um, but, yeah, she kind of fended for herself and found the egos and the, like, kind of, um, uh, I don't know, that container that, like, uh, Hopper left for her. But, well, that's yeah, the thing. There's, like, a lot there's, like, the whole thing where it's like, oh, I found all these documents about my mom and everything. And, and once again, I, I, I like that reveal about her mom kind of thing in a way where it's like oh yeah she um 
what she's saying, what she's chanting is like, you know, she revealed much more of, I guess, what like led, I guess, Eleven to be, I guess, an orphan and be experimented on. I think that was mm. one of the tick points where everyone's like in first season, like, well, I want to know more what happens. And, uh, you know, mm. they delivered on that. Um, and I, and I yeah, thought I... that was pretty cool in the way they did it being like, you know, she can still communicate and, um, I guess she has powers of sorts or something along those lines as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really liked um, her relationship with Hopper, especially because you know, you know, Hopper did have a daughter who died, um, and so that's just kind of like you know, it's it's, it's, it's very there. yeah. And I think like um, I forget, though, I think I was watching an episode of Supergirl as well, and um, they they kind of touched on like kind of kind of like um, father. Um, relationships um, and like fatherhood, I guess, and like kind of, you know, what what it means to be like a. That was like kind of pretty interesting to see. Like, you know, Hopper kind of, you know, uh, he can be kind of mean. He can kind of be really strict and stuff. But you can definitely like the way, um, you know, he played his character. It shows that yeah, he really does care for Eleven, and you know, part of that because of the fact that he lost his kid. Um, so I really like their relationship. Um, I actually really liked Winona Ryder in this season as well, except for the part when Bob died. Um, yeah, that was kind of like okay. Because, be, be, okay, because the thing is, like you know, like you know, it's it's kind of like you know, it's like she carried on her performance from last um season. Like you know, she's just uh like in in a very like kind of Sarah Connor way, right? Like it's you know, because she's just like you know, where's my son? Like, I gotta find my son. Like. Like fuck you, I'm gonna find my son. Like you know, it's uh, like, it, it's, uh, it's uh, what Mel Gibson in Ransom, where he's like, "Where's my son?" Yeah, yeah, in a sense, right? Um, and 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 so like, yeah, it kind of continues season. Like you know, Will's having, you know, he's freaking out, and you know, she's just kind of trying to understand and be there for him, but at the same time, you know, trying to figure out more and like, you know, you can kind of see she's kind of being like a bit of a overprotective mom. You're kind of seeing that kind of ripple from season one. Like she doesn't let him, like ride his bike anymore um which I yeah was I, once again i like i like those little yeah. touches um where you know you remember that you know it doesn't completely forget about previous season like it reminds me um uh, something once again like kingsman the golden circle where like it you know straight up reminds you of like the first one it's very heavily connected to the first one where it's like you know like mm-hmm. it's a lot, a lot of different stuff that happens as well where it's like if you know the first one then you'll get a lot of reasons why and it kind of connects and i and i love I guess, well building along those lines instead of just being like, yeah, let's just disregard what happened and this is the new sequel. So let's forget about all that, you know? So I, yeah, I do and, like that. And and the thing that I actually really liked is they didn't, like, because it's been a year, right? I didn't have to do too many flashbacks. Like, they did it here and there, um, but it was very light on the flashbacks. And I kind of like, like, you know, kind of when a show doesn't have to, like, remind you of like what happened last season and you know this is what you have to know like it was just like very quick very um like flashy and boom um the, yeah as a, but but the one thing i really didn't like or that kind of took again didn't ruin the season but i was just like oh, come on like you're kidding me right um and and okay bob wasn't in season one correct um bob i don't remember bob um the the guy who uh winona Ryder like joyce was seeing no, 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 no. Yeah, he wasn't there. He just randomly appears within that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I was like a little bit confused about like who is this guy? Where did he? Where well, that's the thing. Come? I think in the first like episode they established like all of a sudden they start kissing and they're like, okay, they're they're, they're you know they're getting together. Well, yeah, 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 but it's the thing. I, I was just like, oh, like oh, and then this like oh, they went to school together. He was a loser. She was popular. Like, and, see, so, yeah, uh, like I, I wish they like... didn't put that detail in. Like, I'd rather just be like, oh, just random people and they, and they met up and all that so it's been like oh we also went to fam like you know to work together or whatever you know oh, but but actually i kind of like the detail just because it's it, well, it, it also puts like a bit of a connection between like hopper joyce and Hopper as well because hopper remembers him as like mm. someone else and and also kind of leads to um bob being like really smart and being like the, the nerdy type very well yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah I, I, guess, I guess i guess you're right like it, it is a little small good detail um I guess mainly because like it really does cement the whole small town vibe that the people that yeah, you know, exactly. like you're you're in high school together and then you grow up and then you're also like you know you're in your your adults you're, and then you know you, you're you all still know in the together. town yeah mm, so exactly. I, I guess I guess it kind of cemented that it feels like pretty isolated and um you know everyone knows everyone in, in that kind of way um, um and, like I was gonna touch on like what do you feel about that whole Bob thing and, and like revealing I guess the whole 
oh, deal with that. Again, so th- so that's like the C. Oh, no, that would be like the, the D. D. The I'm D. Like, D. The D. The D. The, yeah, the D storyline. So it's the storyline I least cared about, right? People try and make it out. Not people like the show tries to make it out. Um, and I think like it's, it's like, a big deal. And, and once again, they tried because like I think the backlash was in first season where it's like, man, people forgot Bob really quickly, even her best friend. And I guess they but, just I had to put the point that like um her friend uh, forgot her name. Um, but she was like, yeah, when she got Nancy, drunk, she's like, Nancy. yeah, Nancy was like, oh, you know, we all forgot about Bob and stuff. Oh. Yeah, well, look, okay, so here's the thing, right? Like, Bob's character, I- I'm pretty sure, like, again, like, if I'm wrong, like, listeners, like, feel free to email <laughs> us and, t- and t- tell me how I'm wrong. But from for memory, I-, I just remember, like, the fact that, like, she wouldn't have been the first um child to have gone missing right? like there was like a series of um pe- like kids going missing like and, like mike being like sorry not mike um will being like the latest one um and like bob went missing as well right so it's just like and and and, and i think i remember seeing like in season one there's like a bunch of people who are like all dissolved um and stuff you know getting eaten up by the demogorgons or whoever who, whoever else lives in the um uh in the upside down right so she would have just been like another character who died in the upside down which obviously is not a great thing but you know if there are multiple people who are who are dying in the upside down and getting kidnapped by going into like random ri- like i forget how they ended up going in like were they kind of taken by the demogorgons yeah well into- that's the thing like uh like uh what it what the uh, bob was taken in the pool um, yeah yeah so I don't exactly. know. Yeah, once again, I think the rules with that were maybe pretty loose, and now they've I guess I guess yeah, yeah. So, so, the weird way so of like doing it, like weird portal sections or something like that. You know, like and, yeah, it's, you it's, know, and especially like, like closing the, at the end. You know, closing the whole thing and all that stuff. Mm. Well, but but here's the thing, right? Like in in season one, um, at least like it kind of was explained that okay, like you could kind of like there were holes like randomly in trees that you can go into where that kind of like goes to the upside down and you know like with the pool like you're constantly seeing i remember that scene like it it was kind of going back and forth between uh the upside down and like you know modern like like real time right Mm -hmm. um so kind of kind of seemed to imply that like sometimes like you know like these areas kind of like came out like kind of and you were kind of teleported in um so in that sense it kind of doesn't really explain how you know kind of 11 closing that one massive gap prevented all these other ones from closing but again i think you know they're kind of keeping pretty fast and loose with like you know what it means or maybe that might be something that they might touch on who knows um but yeah like i guess overall like the whole bob thing i think I don't know. Like, I, I think it was in, like the D storyline was essentially Nancy and Jonathan going, going and finding investigating the investigating and thing. getting together and trying to find justice even, for Bob. But they didn't even investigate. They really just. Uh, and I thought it was. I did. I did like that weird to, scientist journalist guy. I thought he was all right. The guy they visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 fine. I like I like him. He's not a scientist. He's just a journalist. I know. Uh, he, 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 <laughs> he knew a lot of science serious. stuff. All right. Yeah. But yeah, like I, like, like, I liked his character. He, he played like a very stereotypical, like um, you know, like what what is it, Mel Gibson conspiracy theory, right? Like you know, like yeah. very once very, again, we we were well, Mel well, Gibson well. twice already, man. Like what what else yeah, we well, got? I mean, that's the eighty. Well, I mean, it, was that an eighties movie or a nineties movie? I don't remember. I don't know. I he like he was like let's see, it was Mad was. Max and uh, you know, the girl. Yeah, the yeah, that, yeah, is, that's uh, Mad Max kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. It's all it's all, it's all coming together. Um, I guess the only thing really to touch on about like season two is like. What do you, how do you feel about the um I guess the extra characters like ev- you saw every single kid's parents now so you got Dustin and his kind of like single mom, mom being like yeah. <laughs> pretty crazy and kind of alone with a cat um you got um well okay so 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 just to just kind of round off like kind of the D storyline like I, I I just wanted to say that like I I I thought it was the weakest one because it was literally okay we got to care about Bob um okay we somehow went into a high security government facility with a recording device which they didn't try and look for i think maybe the Um, excuse was like oh you know back in the day you know in the 80s the recording devices were new 
That's why they had the whole thing with the uh, the video camera no, but, being like, no, oh man, the, the, the video camera is such new technology. No, but but the thing is like any anything that um you know civilians have access to the government has more way than like, in advance. Has, yeah, way in advance. Like this is a hundred percent like a thing. Uh, like I mean, put your tinfoil hats on, guys. But it's it's definitely the case that you know they would have had recording devices back in the eighties before they were released. Um, you know, it's like uh, spying, <clears throat> like American spying programs, like counterintelligence agencies. Like they had these things in order to, you know, spy on you know uh, uh, international uh, countries and whatnot. So. The thing is, like you know, they would have had metal detectors. Like you know, oh well, maybe they're in plastic. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that recording device was metal. But anyways, the the point is, like it seems like a very lazy way to kind of uh, get the information that they're looking for. I did I did like the analogy where they talk about oh um you know instead of kind of releasing the whole truth, let's that's, get them that's on like, like a really propaganda small media thing. media rise it where you know you just cut it in a particular way that you want it to be. Yeah, 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 but like I thought it was very, it was quite like a very interesting way to, um, yeah, explain like you know how the media works, but also try and eventually make something that would otherwise be a conspiracy theory more kind of palatable to, um, the uh, like I guess the civilian population to kind of be like, oh hey, here's a thread, okay, let's pull on the thread, and maybe that kind of reveal. Obviously, it's not going to happen because you know. I mean, Stranger Things, right? It'd be very interesting to see if season four leads to like some kind of massive American like revolution. Um, yeah, but it, yeah, it, like, once again, it feels very humble, and once again, the small town aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think yeah, I think that's part of it. And I think go, going back to what you were saying, so that's that storyline. Um, so mm -hmm. we can forget about it because uh, yeah, because it was literally like, oh, it's Nancy and Jonathan hooking up, and maybe Bob. Like, yeah. So I don't know. That and, and I guess this, and, and I guess yeah, the part of that is um. Uh, what's it? Um, the the Steve Harrington guy and um, mm -hmm. Dustin being kind of like together, and he's like teaching him how to woo a woo yeah, woo really woman. Liked... I no, well, I, well, I like the combo because it just kind of came out of nowhere. Because yeah. I was like, oh, okay, well, now Dustin's uh, uh, recruited Steve for help. Um, and Steve's, you know, Steve's got that nail bat. Um, you know, and yeah, like you know, they're kind of like you know bonding and like. Trying, he's trying to be like a role model for well he's not trying to but he is a role model for Dustin as we see like you know he changes his hair to be more like um you know Steve's character um it's kind of funny that like you know Steve was the character who I didn't really like in season one and I kind of more went towards like you know Jonathan and Nancy but now it's like flipped like I kind of don't like the well that's characters. the thing it, 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 once again it's all it's all about the framing like even the even the scene yeah, where um definitely where uh Steve saw uh the girl um, forgot once again. I always forget her name. What's the, what's the main girl's name? Not Eleven. The uh, the, the sister. Oh, Nancy. Yeah, Nancy. Negative when he sees at, at the Negative dance. Nancy. Yeah, I remember. When, when, when he when he, see, when he sees her at the dance and he does that glare and he drives off in the distance. I'm like, yeah, there we go. He's like the lonesome hero where it's like you know at this point like he he it's kind of the roles are flipped where Will's kind of like the one who's got the girl with you know whatever, but like Steve's kind of like the one being like you know he's lonesome, but he's like you know this is probably the best. Like he's the uh the gunslinger that doesn't want to be attached to anyone. I'm like, I, I like that. I like that type of character. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I guess they have kind of like subverted his role. Um, and, and not to say that John's now become like a jock now. Well, that's the like, thing. Like, in, like in jo John's character in general really hasn't moved that much either. Like, it's just well, like well, he, he is, just got with the girl, and he's just trying to be hard to like talk to Will, and that's really about it. I mean, it's the same with Mike as well. I, I feel like Mike had a bigger role in season one. Um, Whereas in season two, he's kind of just, you know, been there to be kind of angsty about like, oh, Eleven's not around, and he, he she doesn't respond. Well, how, to how, how do you, how did you, how did you feel about that? That it's just like they were never together until that last episode. Would, would, uh, were, you, were you like, that's I mean, a good payoff, or were you just like, nah, man, you should, you should have done this like halfway or something? Uh no, nah, I think, I think it's fine. Like, I think, I think the whole, uh, okay, so that whole payoff is just kind of related to how they've. It's also related to how they solved the main problem, which is uh, the fact that the um, Upside Down is kind of like opening up and leaking into the main world, right? Um, and that, like, you know, Eleven just, you know, comes back just in time and closes everything. Down. Like, it, I think it's fine. I think, like, from a from a story perspective, it's fine. 
um, you know, everybody, everything kind of, again, like, the se separate storylines, and they all kind of naturally uh, kind of come together for the last episode, and I think that was at least kind of organically done, like, it didn't seem forced, like, actually, the one thing that Max is useful for is that she drives the car um, to get them to the facility, so, oh, sorry, not to get to the facility, but to, um, to kind of plant, oh, no, sorry, uh, blow up the kind of weird underground thing. Um, nexus that growing underneath um, the town. Like that, that's one thing she does actually do. Um, but I, I guess, like once again, like that could have been f filled by Steve, who kind of like you know he maybe... was just injured at that point. So yeah, yeah, like... and he was just being a dad and being like, ah, oh, you damn kids, I'm not letting, <laughs> I'm not letting you go, I'm not letting you drive um, this damn car. But yeah, I, like once again, I, like final thoughts is just like overall, it's a you know, good season. Probably not as tight as the first one, but still, it's a it's a pretty you know, it's still a good show. And um, obviously, we'll see where where everything goes because like yeah, we'll may, maybe this will go so long enough that it might even turn into some weird nineties thing at some point. But you know, who knows? Because these well, kids well, these kids are growing, and at some point they might do a high school thing. Like this thing can go for quite a bit. Like this premise, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're filming now, or they have done some filming now because. Because of the fact these kids are growing up and obviously, you know, you know, puberty, right? And that's going to obviously, like, you know, affect how they look. So I think they definitely do want to capture them young. And so they are filming now. Um, it would be interesting to see if season four was them in high school. Like, that's how it works. Like, um, they kind of go through and do it that way. But um, I, I'd, I'd, I'd be fine with them to do whatever. Um, what do you think the plot of next season will be? Try and try and uh, well, that's the thing. It's like one, one. Well, it's like one, one year ahead. Obviously, I think a lot of things. That's the thing. I feel like, yeah, Stranger Things season one, kind of left on this note where a lot of things went, uh, weren't answered, and that's why, like in, you know, the start of season two, they had this like kind of recap sort of, I guess in a way, been like, yeah, everyone's in this their own position. Like Eleven's been a, like hasn't seen them since the incident and everything like that, but mm -hmm. everything seems to be generally patched up. Like everyone's together. So, like, if we're going to skip one year forward, um, obviously we're going to see, like, the relationships together for a lot of different things. You know, um, a lot of these characters will, you know, like, restore a new start of different relationships and different friendships. I think maybe they'll go together, um, like, closer together. But, yeah, season three, it's like, I don't know, the monster's, like, there still. Um, I don't know how they'll know that the monster's there. Because I, I thought it was pretty genius how they did it with the, uh, the video camera and the drawings and things like that. Like yeah, the yeah, monster yeah. Very 80s, right? Like, yeah, very 80s. They, but, they like, yeah, very... like, I, I don't understand. Like, they think it's done, and the monster's mm -hmm. still out there. So, like, obviously something bad has to happen. And I think I think maybe this is the point where there's, there is that tipping point where, you know, the, 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 the whole government trying to hide it and everything, I think it's going to be a full-blown, like, it's going to be out there. Like, mm -hmm. everyone's going to know, and I think the whole town's going to be in panic mode. Something like in, um, you know, something like Gremlins. Where you know, like, like the whole town, sure. kind of like, holy shit, you know, these things are real, and you know, the whole town kind of goes crazy. So I think, like, next season, it's going to be kind of like a lot more bigger scale, and in, in, I guess in a point um, where you know, mm -hmm. the the whole town, it's not just going to be the kids. The kids are going to be the main focus, but the whole town is going to be affected. And I think maybe that uh, eight the eight mutant character or whatever, and maybe we'll go there. They'll see some sort of something or whatever, and then get to the town and. I guess bring that all together and then because that's the thing they they set up that the um the dad guy the the great the scientist the the scientist dad guy is still alive um I yeah yeah sure, sure not sure. so maybe maybe they'll touch on that and Probably. you know hunt him down or something I don't know but that's where I think it's gonna go all you right so, so 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 I think right so, so so yeah so they could have like you know they're doing their teen mutants or whatever um which I think would be interesting but I guess that kind of like well, that's like, it. Destroys it, the whole thing with the, the the team dynamic of like you know the the little kids and not having. Powers. Oh no, I think. Well, I mean that's fine. Like they can just be like adolescent kids, which with and you know some of them don't have to have powers, like you know Batman, right? But like no, no, no. But but I think like um, those, it, ghost, it's fine those they, Ghostbusters outfits will really help. Mm, but I think it, it'll break the tone of the show, right? Because the tone of the show is generally like a, a horror, right? Uh, and I don't think if it's going to be like. Uh, we're gonna hunt after people. It's not gonna be so much horror. It might be more easily like consumable for um people to watch, but I think it's gonna drift a little bit further away. Um, 
uh, uh, journalist guy mentioned Russians, right? Um, and so, uh, you know, what would happen if the Russians had access to this kind of, uh, you know, technology or whatever? Um, and given, you know, how American politics is at the moment, Russia, Russia, Russia. So I could imagine that the next season could be like, you know, about like maybe an attack. Like the know, Red Scare. Or... What, that, well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. In, like, that didn't happen in the 80s. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, it didn't happen in the 80s. But you know, like that's what I'm saying. Like there, there might be like those old weird bonds, I guess. Of the yeah, the the red, the reds, and all that. Yeah, uh, like the the it, like it's supposed to be like you know. Uh, well, I mean, around that time, like you know, ever, ever since the end of um, World War II, uh, America and Russia were basically in a it, were in the Cold War, right? So constantly, like you know, just kind of checking each other out and. You know, you know, arming themselves and you know, uh, you know, measuring their dicks basically. Um, and and with that, like you know, that could be this could be like a point of reference where they can kind of make a lot of allusions to m modern politics and then also, uh, you know, put it into the show as well. Um, so and and it could be, oh hey, you know, Russia's uh, figured out how to get to the upside down and. Maybe that's what led to uh, Chernobyl. Actually, I have no idea when Chernobyl happened, so may maybe not. Um, they'll, they'll, but... they might, uh, that that seems very plausible, though. They'll just be like, "Yeah, you know, this happened in real life event type of thing," you know? Okay, okay. So wait, look, um, April April uh, nineteen eighty six. So doable. I mean, that's not very doable. That's not that's not completely. So I'm calling it now, right? Could be. It's it's like a big maybe. Right, like, like Ru Russia did an experiment to the upside down, it's fucked up, so they decided to nuke the whole thing. That's it. That, that's, that's that's a that's a pretty good thesis right there. Right, right. So you know, uh, Netflix. Uh, you know my address. You know, you guys know my address. I'll accept my check. Right, so they're just mail it. Yeah, Duffer Brothers. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just give me my shit. That, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, I I think that's where it might go. Like maybe could be like okay like there's another threat like because i'm kind of getting like it's it, like this season is probably about as far as i'll take like in regards to like oh there's a government facility and nobody like really cares about it <laughs> right like kind of okay now because they've kind of closed it off but it's like now we have a new government facility in, in this small quaint town for some reason right like uh, I think it would be more interesting to see, you know, maybe there is, like, some kind of global threat that happens. Like, you know, again, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a canon with what history in, in real life. So it would be maybe interesting to see, like, oh, maybe, like, several towns in the area has to deal with weird demodog. Um, and, but our story is focused on the kids. And, you know, hopefully, like, it will be less to do with, um, you know, Eleven saving everyone in the end. Um, I do like how her powers, like, she got better with her powers and you know as opposed to like i think she like fainted like after using her powers pretty like, much all the time lot, yeah all the time whereas this season is like you know kind of holding her and i don't think she fainted at any point with this season but it would be interesting to see like oh you know the kids like the kids kind of approach everything in a really like um uh i guess how to say like very naive way right like oh like we'll we'll like you know we'll dress up in like you know uh football helmet and you know uh hockey pads and stuff and fight these things but you know i kind of and and i like that um but it would be interesting to see like them kind of holding their own maybe against these threats like in the future i don't know how they do it obviously like and and i guess that's what the point of having like all these other like you know 11 subjects that they can kind of also explore as they kind of go further in it so i think i think there's a lot a lot that they can grasp on um but do the chernobyl thing if yeah. only just to prove me right <laughs> well that's the thing i i think that's a pretty good idea but you you'll never know if, if that's the thing if we can kind of predict something like that man these writers man they, they need to step up their game you yeah, know we, we, yeah. we got the premise down like well, well i mean i think i think i think it's a, i think it's the same in i think what we talked about rick and morty um and i think the fans where like no but that's the thing rick and morty fans are crazy though like most yeah, like, yeah but that's what i'm there's saying like a like, subset I, I, of them that a percentage where they're just like shit like you guys know it's like the game of thrones prediction people and then and they're just like yeah you got kind of the ending right yeah so but like, it's just man. like you know what 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 is it you, you get like a million on like typewriters eventually one will the, the monkey thing right? yeah. like yeah you know, like what, like you know, it's it's a thing that you know you throw a trillion darts and eventually one hits like a bullseye, right? Like it, it'll happen eventually. 